You are a thinking center in original substance, and the thoughts of original substance have creative power. Whatever is formed in its thought and held as a thought form must come into existence as a visible and so-called material form, and the thought form held in thinking substance is a reality. It is a real thing, whether it has yet become visible to mortal eye or not. This is a fact that you should impress upon your understanding. That the thought held in thinking substance is a real thing, a form, and has actual existence, although it is not visible to you. You internally take the form in which you think of yourself, and you surround yourself with the invisible forms of those things with which you associate in your thoughts. If you desire a thing, picture it clearly and hold the picture steadily in mind until it becomes a definite thought form. And if your practices are not such as to separate you from God, the thing you want will come to you in material form. It must do so in obedience to the law by which the universe was created. Make no thought form of yourself in connection with disease or sickness, but form a conception of health. Make a thought form of yourself as strong and hearty and perfectly well. Impress this thought form on creative intelligence, and if your practices are not in violation of the laws by which the physical body is built, your thought form will become manifest in your flesh. This also is certain. It comes by obedience to law. Make a thought form of yourself as you desire to be, and set your ideal as near to perfection as your imagination is capable of forming the conception. Let me illustrate. If a young law student wishes to become great, let him picture himself, while attending to the viewpoint, consecration and identification as previously directed, as a great lawyer, pleading his case with matchless eloquence and power before the judge and jury, as having an unlimited command of truth, of knowledge and of wisdom. Let him picture himself as the great lawyer in every possible situation and con-